Welcome to Bespoke Diaries, today's article is on, Only Time Will Tell, by John Nicol, social worker, author, ex-police officer, United Kingdom. John only became a writer in his mid-fifties after a long and varied career. Becoming an author has taken him in a very different and unexpected direction, introducing many positives to his life that he hadn't foreseen. He is surprised it has happened at all and even more surprised to have found a degree of writing success, with many thousands of books sold worldwide. He thinks it makes sense to share a bit of his background before saying more about his books. He draws heavily on his past working life to inform his thriller novels, so it seems relevant. He'll keep the summary as concise as possible and hope readers find it interesting. He trained as a social worker after working as a young police officer in Wales, a small but beautiful country which is part of the United Kingdom. He worked as a generic social worker for a time after qualification and was then appointed as the child guidance social worker for Pembrokeshire. A period working for the NSPCC in Cornwall followed. But both his family and John missed Wales, so they returned home after he was appointed child protection coordinator for Dovert. He later headed up child protection services for Carmarthenshire. He also lectured on child protection at various colleges and universities and to different professional groups. It was an interesting but challenging career path, placing heavy emotional demands on his multi-agency colleagues and him. He didn't fully appreciate just how stressful the work was until he looked back on it later in life. He started writing about 10 years ago after taking early retirement on health grounds. He'd written a multi-agency child protection manual in his professional role but writing the first novel was very different. He writes from experience, which he hopes gives his books a gritty realism. He started writing almost by accident. High-stress careers like police work and childcare social work, often involving long hours and arduous tasks, place inevitable stresses on all those involved. You can't do a job like that without it fundamentally impacting your life in one way or another. He could see the effects of those stresses on the people he worked with, and the pressure began to get to him too. When he talked to a psychologist about his working life, she suggested he write some of her experiences down. That therapeutic biography of sorts gradually became a fictionalized, darkly psychological thriller inspired by actual events. The book is called White is the Coldest Color. He self-published initially, and the book sold better than he could have hoped, quickly becoming an Amazon bestseller in five countries. To his surprise, The audiobook entered the UK Audible Top 50 bestseller chart on the day of publication. After the book's unexpected success, he signed with a literary agent, and a publishing deal soon followed. A re-edited version of White is the Coldest Color was published by leading independent publisher, Bloodhound Books, in 2018. A Czech language edition will be published later this year. The book deals with the difficult issue of child sexual abuse. It is dedicated to survivors everywhere. Ten other books have followed, all published by the same English language publisher. He is delighted to say that when evil calls your name, Portraits of the Dead, A Cold Cold Heart, before John met him, every move you make, The Girl in Red, The Girl in White, Mr. Nice, The Sisters, and Killing Evil have all been best-selling novels. It has all come as an unpredicted surprise to him, something he never expected to happen. John thinks it's true to say we never know where life will take us. That has certainly been the case for him. He is incredibly grateful to all my many readers. Without them, his writing career wouldn't exist at all. He is currently writing book number 12, another fast-paced psychological thriller. He has no idea how many more novels he'll write. That will come as a surprise too. Only time will tell. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Do leave your thoughts in the comments section below. For similar type of article please reach us at contact at thebespokediaries.com or you can visit our website www.thebespokediaries.com.